Welcome to Hardcore Garage. If you've been on our Hardcore S10 page today, you probably know that I got my GT back today. It's been a long wait, and I've been basically cruising it all day. <laughs> um, and I just realized, because of the timeline of when I started my YouTube channel, I don't have a walk around of the GT, so I don't know how many of y'all have actually seen a Sonoma GT. But I'm going to show it to you. Um, they made 806 of these in 1992. That was the only year they were made. And it was the same time frame when they were making the Cyclones and Typhoons. This is kind of like the poor man's version. Doesn't have a turbo. Uh, has some really nice interior that is specific to this truck. And a ground effect kit that is specific to this truck. So it is kind of nice. They made 14 in forest green and this is one of those. Um, I believe the number of this truck is 581. I can check the VIN here in a minute whenever we're walking around and verify that. But out of the 806, I'm pretty sure this is 591, 581, something like that. But anyway, let's check it out, guys. I've tried to keep this thing pretty much stock, <laughs> if you want to say that. It's had the uh, lights change to clears and a 5.5 five drop, 2 inch spindles, 3 inch springs in the front, 3 inch leaves, 2 inch blocks in the rear. Still has the factory snubbers. Changed out the grill emblem from red to black off of a, my buddy Woody's Typhoon. It's a real fun truck to drive. If you can see the kit here is specific to the Sonoma GT. It's got a real nice look to it. Um, just about everything that I've been able to find so far has been replaced on the truck with NOS parts as much as possible. Those are brand new NOS tail lights. The grill was a brand new NOS grill. I switched out some of the uh, interior applicates appliques whatever you want to call them uh, like the door pieces there the, the metallic just kind of drove my senses crazy so it has also been switched out to the dark gray as opposed to the metallic same with the vents you can see it is the, the uh, cluster and surround is specific to the gt I mean, it's more rounded here than the standard s10 one um, regular cassette player sonoma gt emblem on the Glove box door has the door panel um, panels there, whatever the heck they're called. I can't even think right now, guys. Door cards <laughs> that match the seats. These seats are just like the Cyclone seats, except for they don't say Cyclone in them, and they don't have the lumbar. The center console there being the floor shift automatic that is specific to the Sonoma GT and the Cyclone. Um, I've got the aftermarket Sonoma GT mats. Those actually came from Brittany when her GT finally bit the big one. Paint job goes through the jams and everything. All the seals have been replaced. These, this door is really, and both doors are really hard to uh, close. These are aftermarket seals. I do have some NOS seals that I'm going to switch out, and I think that is the main issue here. You can see some wrinkling right there, and there is a split. On the actual NOS ones, there will be no split. The door panels on this are basically all brand new. Everything in there, other than the door cards, um, was bought NOS. And not those little felt inserts there. The door panels are a bunch of different pieces. A lot of people don't know that. Got a nice headliner in it. Everything in here is just really, really nice. The, the carpet. Got your jack in there still. Let's take a look at the motor. Yeah, you see how hard that was to shut? <laughs> 4.3 W code motor. Electronic fuel injected. Got AC, power steering, cruise control, all the goodies. Full 
591. The last digits of the VIN there is the uh, production number of the vehicle. Does have the shaved tailgate with the handle on the inside. Beltec. That is a Grant Customs skin that's on it. And it is the two butt tailgate if you notice that. Let's do a little startup video on her now. See how it sounds when it runs. <laughs> 